Today I'm going to be showing you how to hack a Siglent SDS 1104XC oscilloscope. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to have to first copy the firmware onto our computer and then plug it back into the scope so we're going to be able to update it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to plug in the USB stick. Okay, so right now I'm on the update page. The link will be down in the description below. So currently I have the most recent firmware installed on my scope. I'm actually going to roll it back a previous version that's going to be older than 6.1.26 because that's when they disabled the shell cmd which is what we're going to need to hack the scope so as you can see this is 6.1.26 anything after will not work so all we're going to do we can use 6.1.25 r2 which is what i'm going to do right now i'm going to show you how to download the firmware and then copy it to our usb drive and then update our scope i mean downgrade our scope so all we're going to do is hit download open it up We're going to unzip the folder. We're only going to be copying the ADS file. And before we copy it to our USB drive, make sure that it's formatted. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Format, hit enter. As you can see, it's already done. So I'm going to close this tab. And then I'm going to go back to Siglin E. And I'm going to go copy our .ads file. So as you can see, now it's done. What we're going to do now check the USB drive and then plug it into our scope and update it. So now I'm going to show you how to update your scope using our freshly copied USB drive. So we're going to go ahead and find the update page. This is update. Hit the soft key. Hit the firmware button. Then as you can see right here we have system volume information and SDS um, the update file right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the intensity knob and then I'm just going to navigate to hit it once hit press to update and it's going to decompress the firmware as you can see now it says firmware decompressed please restart all we got to do is hold down the power button to once the scope shuts down we're going to restart it all right the power button again done now and as you can see, we're going to go ahead and hit system status. And boom, we have, we can ignore V8 because that doesn't matter, and the 1. So as you can see, now we have 6.1.25 R2, which will work with our, with our shell CMD application right here. Okay, so with the update finished, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the IO page. The soft key, hit the IP set button. Then we're going to look for our DHCP. It should be enabled. And then we're going to look for our IP address, which is right here. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see it, but for me it says 192.168.0.129. Then we're just going to enter it onto our PC right here. And then we're going to enter the scopes configuration page. Okay, so now we're going to go to 192.168.0.129. This that's our IP page for our oscilloscope. As you can see, it goes in. We have the SDS 1104XE right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the SCPI control. You, if you have a password enabled on your scope, you must have it in order to access the SCPI control. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit SCPI command. And then we're going to go to our notepad thing right here. So right here, we are going to note down the serial number of your oscilloscope before we do this. And then it should be on the back of your oscilloscope. It's in this format right here. It's a 16 digit alphanumeric string. So we're going to go ahead and now, we not, now that we know that, we're going to use SCPI to send the, this command. What I'm highlighting right here is exactly what it should be typing in. I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm just going to paste it and then hit send. And as you can see, it says command send success. You want to wait about two to three minutes because they're actually because the scope is going to download your memory dump to the USB drive. It should take about two to three minutes just wait for it to finish so now i'm just going to assume that the whole memory dump has been downloaded to the usb we go and unplug it plug it back into our pc right here and then we're going to go ahead and read to it we're going to see what's in it now that you have your usb drive of your memory dump in it we're going to go ahead and open the memory dump using our hex editor i just prefer using hxd because it's pretty simple to use and it's great for beginners 
hit Control alt so you can open up your file and then all I'm going to navigate is to my USB drive hit memory dump dot bin open it up so now we just have this bunch of text and like all these hex values we're going to hit Control F and then remember the serial number that you noted earlier you're going to need it now so we're going to find you're going to find your serial number make sure it's on all caps hit all and hit search all so now we have a bunch of um findings so when we look for it we're going to look for the letters the three letters mso separated by two dots and then followed by your serial number so i already found it right here it's on the offset b1 d f e a d right here we have two dots in between MSO and your serial number. So looking down a little bit, we have four serial numbers that correspond to your AWG, Wi-Fi, and MSO option respectively. So now all you want to do is just take note of these serial numbers. They're actually only three. The first one's at the duplicate of the last. So there is one that starts with free AC2, this one's for the AWG option, X237 is for the Wi-Fi option, and KP7M is for your MSO function. Obviously these keys won't work on your scope, these will only work on mine, because these are individually key to your serial number, so don't even try using these on your scope. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is enter these serial numbers onto my scope and then they should work. Well I've already done this and forgot to record it, but when I... Find the options key. We're gonna go ahead and hit the options key. We're gonna if you want if you have to install it, you have to press the install button, but I've already installed it so it won't work. When you press the install button, there should be a keypad that pops up and you just use the intensity and use the intensity adjust button to enter your enter your key codes, which are these right here that I already showed you on the computer. So when I hit information, as you can see. I've hacked all the options and now all of these are permanent licenses. So basically the last thing you gotta do is update your scope to the latest firmware option to have all the features. So now re-updating it back to the latest firmware is actually really simple. It's really fast. It's like where they showed you before. I'm gonna hit download. Open it up. Unzip it. Copy the ADS file. Don't forget to delete your old one. And then once it's copied, disconnect the USB. And then plug it into your scope and update it using the update process that I already showed you. We're gonna plug in our USB stick right here. It should say USB flash drive detected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the update key, hit firmware, use our intensity knob to go to the file press it once and press you press to update button and then it's just going to go ahead and upgrade it's going to decompress the file and then this is a very simple process okay so now that it's booted back up again I'm going to hit system status, make sure that your software update has been updated to the latest version. You can hit the system status button to check that. So now I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to options, hit the options button, hit information. I'm going to verify that our licenses still exist, and that they still are permanent licenses. So basically at this point, you're basically done hacking your scope. Have fun with it. Thanks for watching.